Hello, ladies, gents, and internet lolcows of all shapes and stripes. You're welcome here. Nobody will laugh at you here. Just don't post your identity in the comments. Just post anonymously and nobody will laugh at you here at all. It's a, it's a very safe space for all the peoples of the internet. Nobody will judge you unless you're a Jew. Let's continue our drive to make money in Spelunky. It is the daily challenge of 2018 December 19th. Almost over with freaking Christmas season. Boy, am I ready. Am I absolutely ready for Christmas season to be over. This nonsense has to stop. All these consumerin, consumerist... Is that a word? Consumerist? Uh, consumist? Consum I think consumerist is the, the way to say it. Anyway, all the drive to, bu to buy and have things and have more garbage that nobody needs Oh, I am part of it. Don't think I'm judging. I am absolutely part of it. But but I already got all my... Because I'm a postman, you see? You're, I'm sure you're aware of this, but I'm a postman. So I have the decency to order all my junk. Oh, jeez. Two bombs for a crate, no siree. There could be a jetpack in there. There could be some wondrous stuff in there, but we're going to pass on it. I ordered all my stuff already a month ago. Because I don't order things for Christmas. Except this t-shirt that I forgot that I wanted for my wife. And then I, oh shit, I didn't order it. So I ordered it pretty close to Christmas. Tosumi, whatever. It's just a t-shirt. It goes into the mailbox. It's not a big deal. As opposed to those giant freaking deep fryers and, and new, new mattresses that people order in the mail. Are you freaking kidding me? Why do I have to carry this to your door? I am so full of gripes right now. I am so full of madness. Of mad, mad rage. Uh, all the people that order things online and uh, bring revenue to the post office. Stop it. Stop bringing money to the post office. All I want is for you to shut up, take your your garbage bills and your trashy penis enlargement ads that you get to your door because the order porn on, on the internet. <clears throat> Um, uh, yes, on the on the internet, and you give them your address for some reason. This is a true story. This is true, true facts. People get sexual ads in the mail because they're stupid enough to put their their address in a porn site, and they get ads in their mailbox. And here I am delivering Stormy, literally Stormy Daniels' faces face. Uh, last longer such and such <laughs> to to somebody's house let's use a rope here I think there was a crate there and if there's not there was a whole bunch of money that I want it will hopefully be ghosting all this junk we got some bombs did not even did not even realize that no, we got some bombs okay that's good enough a little disappointed about this man been an annoyance Thanks to this rope, we should be able to simply free and just wait until he spikes himself. Everything goes according to plan. This pleases me greatly. Uh, oopla. Uh, oopla. I'm going to... I'm still attempting to ghost. Still attempting... I mean, not to ghost, but to get some duping going on. The very least is a proof, proof of concept, you know. We need the ghost to come from this side. But clearly, uh, this level is not very not very good for that. I'm not going to even be trying. And the thing is, I'm not going to try unless the seed is fantastic. Unless you get that Matok jetpack, plenty of bombs kind of scenario where, you know, you can uh, rearrange the level to get some optimal noise destruction duping uh scenario du duping situation where you can actually get away with it without driving yourself insane so that is why i am simply doing some standard ghosting here instead of trying to destroy all the noise and all that nonsense i don't know what the threshold is by the way wonder if there's probably some science out there on what the threshold is it for the attempts at duping to be worth it please let me let me go up here so we can first ghost this emerald Probably we'll end up... Come on, yeah. We'll end up using another rope. Yeah, it looks like a rough... Rough spot to go around this ghost. I mean, eh, I can shotgun jump over it. What's the worst that can happen, right? Let's just do that. 
get those two ghosted, we should have need to go around this ghost only one more time. In that nerve-wracking situation. Wasn't there gems at the top that I completely uh, I left behind? There might have been, but now I'm at the bottom. Nothing I can do about it. Got some money that way. Feeling good about this level. This is good stuff. Hell yeah. Alright. Get through that exit. Plenty of money in my pocket. Feeling good about this run so far. I am okay with resources and you know, things are just moving forward. It's it's promising. And here we have Cali as well. Come to help me in my endeavors. This is looking pretty damn good. Pretty damn good, especially look at that in that Ujarai. Pretty much eff effortless. Uh hmm. Feeling pretty good. So here I am delivering enlarge your penis. Last longer. So get three videos for the price of one to this 70 year old man. He just takes it from me. I always make sure that it's not the top one because I'm not a troll. In real life, I'm not a troll. I'm a real nice guy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a nice guy. That's triggered. Okay. I'm just going to carefully murder all these monsters. And I don't mean internet nice guy. I don't mean uh, send me nudes, please. You're so sexy. Uh, no, please go away, creep. You slut! I'm not that kind of <laughs> that kind of nice guy. I'm an actual nice person. At least I pretend to be. Get that. Jizz? What you got, friendo? That's garbage! I make sure that the the sex ad is in the middle of the pile of mail whenever I I'm bringing it to your face. Because, you know, sometimes you have a package and they're home and I just give them their mail. Right? There. Well, okay. That's uh, one way to... He can actually get me up here. <laughs> I am slightly upset about this situation. I probably should take the initiative. Not let this man dictate our rules of engagement. Oh boy. Okay, well, that, that worked out pretty well. Because <laughs> I was about to be super, super obliterated. And he got spiked. This pleases me greatly. All these people killed. Gross ass cobra. And we're going to return. Unfortunately... How can I... I think using the rope there will get me all the way to the top. Yeah. Nice stuff. We gotta go back to our mistress. Not going to be jumping in there because we need the shotgun to get back out. I remember. I know things. Might as well grab this one. Actually... And we don't really need it. If I had realized I have the wet gun, I would have not even used the rope. Already, huh? Well, that's unfortunate because we wanted to get those sapphires ghosted. We're going to use the web gun to get out of here. Uh, I mean, to get those sapphire ghost sapphires ghosted. I might even use it. Just use the bomb here. It is such a painful situation. Okay, so this shotgun jump is kind of awful. And if I had gotten it wrong, I would have been not in deep trouble. But it would have been a painful place to get out of. With this wonderful web gun. I can in fact get the hell out of here. Look at me. Look at me. You're actually using the web gun. In a very much legitimate manner. Did I leave money at the top? I don't think I did. Everything's unmolested up there. So sapphire here. Some arrow trap. Some more money down there. You know what? Since we have committed so much, might as well put a bomb there. Get that those gems out of the way. Out of the walls and into my pocket. And we're going to use the web gun, hopefully proficiently. Without killing ourselves. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> a little, little upsetting situation there. Should be okay to do this. Is there even a way out of here? Yeah, there is, right? Yeah, there's a shopkeeper over there. That's triggered. <laughs> that would have been bad to continue being assaulted by the horrendous monster. I was about to kill it and then I realized, oh, wait a minute, there's a ruby. Must have this ruby. Really hate this, by the way. This cobra is 
pissing me off. I don't know why I whipped that. That prevented it from being ghosted. Kind of a dumb move. You must be used to those by now. Let's go get that sapphire. Mm-hmm. Son of a... <laughs> Alright, so good. So good. Go back there. We got some diamonds over there that we want to put into our pockets and we should be ready to go. Oh, you guys, the web gun is a useful gun. You thought that it was all memes. I never ghosted that ruby. Let's uh, remedy that. There's also two gems in the middle there. Might as well get them ghosted. We're going to uh, operate as if this seed is the best seed ever conceived. And it's simply slow to get started. Which means we're going to get those two gems over there. Which means we have to work around this ghost a little bit longer. Not a big deal. You guys are not in a hurry, are you? You're here for the long haul. And if you are in a hurry, you can just click on that little plus icon down by the share button. You might as well uh, share it while you're at it. I mean, why not, right? I've never really even uh, mentioned share this video. I think that's the first time I ever say, hey, share this video. <laughs> anyway, I'm just telling you, there's an icon that says a plus. I think it's the plus. Is it the plus? Anyway, right down there is an option to say watch later. And there is a, a playlist that everybody can have. You put all the videos that you want to watch later because they're really long. You can watch them in several goes. So that's where they get added. It's pretty useful. It's a legitimately useful YouTube tool. That I didn't become aware of until maybe last year. I've been using it for maybe six to seven years or more. Or however long YouTube's been around. Only figured out that I could do that. Freaking last year. Stupid. Anyway, we are victorious. We're victorious yet again. I, it might sound like I'm a little low energy and that's because I'm freaking tired. Okay, I am. Why did I not sacrifice shopkeeper? Don't ask me things. Don't ask me questions. I do things for mysterious reasons, and you just have to trust that I'm doing the right thing. So just burn this filthy scorpion. Uh, I really want to kill that, but I also don't want to get arrowed. Oh, the door just uh, got knocked on. I'm assuming there's a box at it. Drawing the UPS people insane, that's for sure. Triggered. There you go. Uh, I can tell you for sure though, right now it's my time to be at work, so there's nobody at the door that I really care about. Man. Yeah, climbing gloves, at least there's that, and there's some ropes, and like there's some useful items there, but nothing I'm excited about. Would have much more appreciated some bombs, but what I'm really kind of mad about is the fact that it's so hard to get in there. I guess I'll have to grab this ruby. I'm going to try and simply just shoot this man in the face. Oh, this he didn't make it easy for me, so I appreciate that, Mr. Shopkeeper. You say that I won't get away with it, but I already did, so I don't know how you could possibly be correct, Mr. Shopkeeper. Although, I assume they have other friends coming up later. I will try to avenge your death. It's alright, they'll all meet a very short and very violent end. I very much look forward to visiting horrendous pain upon their faces. Can't really get in there, so no reason to push that. There's no reason to do anything here, not even ghost. I'm going to go back, grab this right there, because there's just no reason to stick around. Happy to get those ropes, though. Get the items from that idiot shopkeeper thought that he was in charge of his life and then that's when Paco showed up Shh. taught him who was really the master All right, just waiting for the right opportunity to commit another murder this seems okay not happy about that but it turned out all right book is right here might, might as well get the ruby why the hell not wasn't planning to ghost at all but 
The opportunity presented itself without me doing a damn thing about it. I don't think it's worth it to use a bomb to get in there. Even though Major Stupid is there calling for my help. Major Stupid, you need to learn self-sufficiency. You need to look after yourself. Because if you can't take care of yourself, how are you entitled? To my help. I don't know how that makes a lot of sense. Like, there's a lot of... Uh, legitimately helpless uh, people out there that you know could use my help that did, did not deserve the situation and still uh, for no fault of their own could be perhaps not entitled but deserving of my help so that was a poorly thought out statement but this the reality stands that I did not help that helpless dog and I just kind of need to make myself feel better about it Otherwise, I might be at fault of callousness and thoughtlessness and lack of empathy. Oh boy. Em emerald, you say? This is garbage. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll use a rope to get down. Because there's enough gems, which is just two, to say, eh, I'll probably come back. And since we picked up some ropes, it's so good. Well, I'm very happy to see that scene down there, but look at this level. It's total trash. Using bombs to make sure that I'm not missing out on that black market. Gotta explore a little bit. Otherwise, I'll totally get boned by the black market spawning in a corner. Like a piece of garbage that it is. It does seem like it's not the case. Nah. No black market here, but we do have Adam. Let me just grab you by the ear. Maybe by the groin. However frisky I'm feeling today. Toss him. Don't jump in there. He's not stupid enough to get ticket trapped, is he? He looks like a smart guy. A really bright fellow. Alright, so we got two gems here. One of which I will not go for. But I can do the sapphire. This seed is quickly becoming complete trash. But, you know, everything can turn around in the black market, and there's also... I don't know why that word came out that way, the black market. Uh, so the, all the emotions that are running in my mind right now is uh, being so damn heartbroken. So damn heartbroken about my slaves right now. Right away, it's absolutely atrocious. I trained those bastards for upwards of seven months. I trained them so hard. And this is how they repay me, by escaping at the first chance, choking me with their their own chains and leaving me. Well, I guess I should be thankful they didn't just murder me, they just left me with my pants down a dildo on my ass, so I guess I should be thankful for that, but still, it stings, man, it's, it, it's upsetting to see somebody with whom I spent so much of my time treat me that way. And that was a serious investment, man. Spent several thousands of dollars for each, so. Whew. Tell you what, I was I was mad, I was real mad. My wife really knew, really knew about it. There, no, with the back of my hand, how mad I was. So anyway, after those 100% uh, innocuous and perfectly harmless edgy jokes. I guess I'll grab this sapphire, because <laughs> this is stupid. This entire situation is just dumb, and I should simply leave. Should have simply left by picking up the damn gems without even trying to ghost here, but you know what? We committed to it, so we're sticking with it. I should just be uh, creating justifications for my actions, my stupid actions, as opposed to saying that they were dumb. That's the way you do it on the internet. You never apologize. You never go back on something you've said. You never, ever relent, give an inch to your convictions, to the things that you might have said with that much wisdom. Because they're out there, man. Everybody's out there to get you. And they'll just take it as a, a as weakness, as proof of guilt. Is the actual truth. Apologizing is foolish. Because it's just proof of guilt. At the very least, the worst you can do is just... The best thing you can do is just brush it under the rug. If you don't want to 
address it or double down. Just ignore it. It will eventually go away. That's the beauty of the outrage culture. There's so many things to be outraged about. I guess we'll go down there. I don't feel good about going down here. Picking up all this money when I should be whipping it. Good thing of the outrage culture, I was saying. I have no way in there. Whoa. I'm pretty mad. Mad as hell. I ain't gonna take this anymore. Is that there's something always something new to be outraged about? There's always a, a new new menace to be mad. <laughs> a new menace to be mad about. So you just wait a couple days and people will forget. If you double down and you continue just being antagonistic. It will become a much bigger deal than it actually is. Right, so we got this situation where we have the exit into the black market. I don't think there's even anything to ghost. I mean, there is some. There's a little bit now, even more, but it's kind of a massive pain in the ass to get around this place. And I only have one bomb left. We have those two gems right there. There was also... The emerald that we can get to, but I would have to use another rope to get there. And it feels like, is it even worth it? Is it even worth it? Especially not even knowing that whether I'll have a vault or not in the jungle. I mean, it does seem like I'm waiting for it, so it must be worth it, right? So, let me just get myself... Or to the other side, we'll use a rope, we'll actually get it done. There's no need to throw it so far up. Let's go all the way over here, might as well, maybe even, maybe one of these will contain a gem or such thing. Oh, I wanted that emerald, let me go to Kind of mad about it. Very disappointing in myself. But we'll persevere, we'll make this work. So we'll get that one. And there will be a turnaround. I will go up there to get that emerald because we apparently have committed to this to this path. We're going to make it work. Ah, jeez. That emerald is actually really hard to get to, huh? Why did I get myself into this situation? Stupid. Okay, and I get another situation where my ghosting was hardly worth it, it was ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Amazing. That piece of trash. There was also a pile of gold somewhere that I just saw. There's also an ingot there. Might as well go ham on it. Make sure. Get all my money. I started a thought earlier and I never uh, elaborated on it. I'm tired. Something that I already said, but more so. The overtime has not stopped. I barely have any time to do anything other than just work, eat, shit, and sleep. That is my life right now. I mean, I do get breaks at work. There's a gold pile. Ah, that there is. It's inside that pond, which it makes it really annoying because it's exactly in the middle. Let's get the ghost all the way to the corner here and murder a frog for no reason. That's been my life these days. Pretty much the entirety of it. I do get breaks at work. And some <clears throat> unofficial breaks as well. You know, sometimes I, I take my time and take uh, more breaks than I should, but don't 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 uh, take it as a confession. It's just I am really good. I am really good at my job, so I need to equalize myself to the rest of the of my coworkers. This is not even. I mean, it's it's a it's a boast. But it's 100% accurate. Being a mailman doesn't take a whole lot of skill. Or know-how. But let me tell you, there's some really, really bad mailmen. <laughs> and women. Really mad, really... You, I don't need to convince you about that, right? That there's some extremely awful postal workers. I'm not one of them, baby. I'm not one of them. I am A grade. I am A plus customer service and... And uh, not just customer service, but also policing management in the sense of I am a, a, a 
teacher's pet favorite in at the post office. Manager loves my guts. I don't give any trouble. Like I am like zero controversy kind of guy. Because uh, like it's not like I am a yes, yes man and I do everything they tell me. Is that they don't need to tell me to do anything because I already got it right. <laughs> you know, and this is it's a it's a sincere boast, but it's a, it's truth. Damn great, post man, post man, really take pride in it. It's just you know I'm of the school of thought indeed that if you're going to do a job, do it right. You're getting paid. This is your livelihood, and it might be a crappy job. If somebody's giving you money to do something. You scumbag. <laughs> you were just like a freaking cruise missile. And you had my address, my name and address, programmed into your brain. But I saw you. I saw through your intentions. Oh, that was terrible, but it's all good. It's all good. Unfortunately, I did not see any mad talk. I don't see no mad talk, so not very good in that capacity but we did get a jetpack all right let's see if we can get this man obliterated we'll rather not use a bomb for it so going to stump his ass okay everybody has committed suicide in one way or another i appreciate that i'm still in cape mode so i'm still clinging to walls instead of using my my jetpack It'll take a little while to get used to it, as it often does. By the way, by the way, most of my audience is flunky, I get it. I know. I'm not resentful about that. Some people get real resentful about, well, my people don't watch my other videos. I, I am sick of doing this content and people all, all they want to watch is League of Legends instead of the other stuff. I, this is not a diss to donkey. Don't take us a diss to donkey is just what came to my mind. Uh, and he actually was right, so. Like his, his, all of his videos are freaking hilarious and awesome. The legend content was probably stifling his his creativity. Anyway, that's neither neither here nor there. I'm not like I'm not like yeah. At least at least I got some decent damn viewership on one of the things that I make, so I should be thankful about it. But anyway, the reason I'm saying this, I know you might be a Spelunky only pr uh, 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 viewer, but boy, boy, that video I just put up about rain war lore you owe yourself you owe yourself watching that or at least giving it a chance it's a uh, a very highly edited story it's all a big narrative 30 minute story that i'm telling you and it's all the lore of the game i want that money i'm willing to spend a bump to get it it's, it's the lore of the game and uh, how it's all connected to this AI creature that you encounter in the game. And the lore of the game is so obscure and so crazy. It's, it's so stupidly complicated going back centuries. And you don't really see it other than in, in these logs that are extremely difficult to find in the game. But it, there's all this insane backstory, and I went to all the trouble to putting it all together and narr narrating it in one, one long fell swoop. I made a story out of it. It, 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 it all comes as lots of conversations and little data points that, that you find, and I put it all together nicely in one, you know, I, I wrote a script that goes through it. I even lore checked it with the with the, shall we say, special people that read it and uh, to make sure that everything was somewhat factual so I'm not telling you you false things so I will definitely urge you to check that out because I'm pretty damn proud of that of that video it's uh, I'm try also trying out my my narrator voice which I have used, I used a lot in uh, the Senua Sacrifice video which I'm also extremely proud of Perhaps still one of my best. Very happy about it. But anyway, yeah, just just chilling for my whoa, <laughs> just chilling for my own uh, things that I created because I spent a lot. Man, it takes so long to edit such videos together, and I'm not saying that as a guilt trip. 
I'm saying I put a ton of effort into it, so I would love for it to be uh, more widespread. Uh, I'll do it because I'm hoping to, to for it to go viral and make it big. Uh, it's a Rain World lore video. How viral can that get? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think it's like high quality to the point that people that have no interest, even, even no interest in video games, will actually enjoy that video. It's like the prepare to cry by the videos of the lore of Dark Souls 3. I would say that people that don't even care about Dark Souls uh, would derive some enjoyment out of the storytelling in those videos. At least, at least I would. This is, I mean, I of course don't have a baseline because I am interested in Dark Souls lore, but I think it's not a controversial opinion to say the the Vatividia, his lore videos probably have a pretty big appeal outside of gaming community. Why is there still shopkeeper music going on? Because this guy was waiting until I could witness his death. He was like, if I can't kill you, I'm going to horrify you. I'm going to make you scar for life by witnessing my suicide. Little did he know, <laughs> my chest is empty of all feeling and thought. And uh, empathy for their stupidity. Stupid, stupidity. They're all stupid, and I don't abide their stupidity. So there's a vault, so we're going to ghost it. Very happy about this vault, because I was very much hoping that it would be a thing where I can do some ghosting of some vaulting. There was no indication that there would be a vault here. It's, we got to go lucky that it spawned. Instead of being lost to the black market gods. Uh, I don't think there is a way we can destroy all the noise here. There's, there's just no freaking way, man. Should I maybe even try to ghost that emerald over there? I don't think this seed is good for duping at all. Although, of course, I'm a complete noob about that. Maybe, maybe the super experts out there saying, Yeah, man, you could have pulled it off if you did this and that and the other thing. You could have totally got done some damn decent duping in this seed. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. I will, I will say, with that a mad talk, it's nearly impossible. Correct me if I'm wrong. But with that a mad talk, probably impossible to, uh, to get duping done. I need to get some, some more duping footage watched to see all the techniques that happen of course that is very time consuming because those runs are like six hours long so you know ain't got no time for such nonsense i can only live on the snippets that i have just uh, watched on the surface all right let's just go grab our money looking pretty good probably Probably these wings right here, these are like 20,000 points of noise, so uh, probably that that alone makes uh, quite a difference. Of course, you know, I have no idea what I'm talking about, so. I mean, I did go deeper into knowing exactly how it works, and there's a lot of the that quirk in this Splunky engine. It has a lot to do with the priority of things, how they spawn, the order in which they spawn in the level. Oh, jeez, there it goes, it's right there. The priority with which they spawn in the level, and if you give the gens high priority by creating a ton of bullets so that they start being high priority, which is, you see, how the bullets are rendering on top of that shotgun. That means that they have higher priority, which in turn does a thing and a thing and a thing. And, you know, I read it a while ago and now I can't even remember. That's how complicated it is. That you forget it right away but the gist of it is eliminate all the debris get everything together pick it all up at once okay, we're, we're gone we're good to go entering those ice caves feeling pretty good about my prospects so far because while no duping still okay we got the two volts that's a lot of, of uh, that's a lot of pots, my friendo. 
Now in the ice caves, I can see how duping is indeed a possibility. So let's see if we can let's see if we can pull something like that off. Of course, keeping track of whether a duplication is happening or not. A lot harder. A lot harder to keep track of such things. I'm hoping for Kali to be around so we can sacrifice the Yetis, otherwise they get tossed into the abyss. Looks like a very, very small and very small in the sense of very sparse level. Like there's barely anything. So obviously the problem is with the duping, how do you get everything to the same spot? Will be a matter of dropping everything through the level and getting it to the bottom. So let's let's see. This spot might be a good spot. Maybe here, because no, we can move this. Although that sapphire right there, we can't really put it anywhere else. But maybe let's try this. Move all the pots right here. I didn't know. I don't want to grab that. No, it would be silly. That would be silly. Just move the pots here so we explode them. And they are whippable to somewhere else. Let's get all of them gathered. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna work right. Like it's it's just too much stuff. Still uh, needing to be picked up, and it's just not going to to be important what I'm doing. But might as well try. Might as well get, try and get it done. I mean, I'm I'm just making time to the 2:30 mark at the very least, so. I would be doing this as well. It's like an extra consideration now, right? It's on top of gathering all the pots in one place and blowing them up. We're also considering, is there a place where everything can fall to? And we can pick it all up at once. And the answer to that is maybe. Might as well try. Get rid of that. Uh, destroy that because there's a... Sapphire right there. Get another mine. This ghost is going to be bothering us for a little while. Kablooey. Jackie, let's get you to the exit so you stop yelling. Wonder if the worm... This probably creates noise, right? Look at all the, all the goop that is oozing from it. Let's do that. You should get rid of it. If it's not the truth, well, it seems like the truth, so I'll, I'll act as if it is. If we pick up the shotgun, it also stops being noise. Because something that you are picking up, it disappears. Uh, as far as Splunky is concerned... Oh man, my nose is just... Oh yeah! Anyway, now this freaking Ruby is bouncing around. I don't appreciate that. We can whip it. Get rid of all debris. Luna. What are you doing, Luna? You have randomly been activated and here you come to bother me? Of course you do. This cat loves the attention. Oh, that dropped in a place I didn't want it. That's okay. It's alright. I forgive myself. Clearly that emerald... I mean, we could use a bomb. Yeah, let's use a bomb. Eh, kind of difficult to get the bomb where I want it to be, but why not? Why not? We're committing. We're committing as far as we can. There's another pot here. To trying to get this dupe ready. And of course, I'm not going to be able to keep track of how much money we have and how much money... Uh, we should have picked up uh, in relation to the actual money that we pick up, so I will not really know whether I am duplicating anything or not. Well, that's not what I wanted, but... I picked it up. I have to now live with it. Get this out of the face, my face. My, my, my butt itches. Let me just reach into my pants and like... Oh, 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 oh. oh. Let's go back into back into the the game after this brief indulgence. This is all looking pretty okay. We need to blow up those pots. We need to whip that all the way to the bottom. We'll probably use a bomb to blow up the pots. Because I want to create a way down. So we'll just create that. 
should have room to whip that down. And I should, in fact, be destroying the pots already. With my wonderful bomb. Let's get it done. Hope that lots of gems come out of that. Uh, they just vanished. <laughs> I think they dropped into the abyss. So I'm not happy about that. <laughs> Where did that emerald come from? What the hell just happened? Well, that was not the plan. The plan was... The plan was... For the gems to stay... Oh, there you are! What the... Oh, no, 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 it's not the same one. This is not going to work out well, but... It's the thought that counts, as, I guess. That was terrible. And I feel terrible. But I'm pretty sure that everybody starts being really incompetent about it. At least that's one to tell myself. Maybe... No, we really can't whip everything, can we? I could just spend the bomb to get rid of, of more of that. Maybe. It'll allow me to get things closer together. Luna. She's pawing at my forearm. Like, oh, let me get on your lap, let me do it. Let me get on your lap, is uh, what she's pretty much saying. Yeah, I can't even get those diamonds together. So we're just doing this. It's pretty sad. Can't even align it right. That was not duplicated at all. But hey, the effort is what counts. We, you learn a lot just by failing. It's something that you do all the time. Learn by failure. Via negativa. Just don't lose track. Please don't murder me. We got money. It's all good. We didn't even pick up the shotgun to maybe duplicate one of those diamonds. Whatever, man. We, we make the effort. That's what counts when you're starting out. It's all going to come together eventually. Wonder if the snow counts as noise. So snowy levels that are completely impossible to get uh, duplicated. There's so many things I don't know. So many things I don't know. Always willing, by the way, to be educated about this type of stuff in the comments. That is something that I'm moderately interested in, so I will uh, read your comments with interest. But no, you... This no doesn't count. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh... You could have done this and that to maybe get that first level ghosted properly. Just trigger this moron. Have him jump into the abyss. Yeah, some bombs. Yeah. All right. This level is looking pretty okay. Not amazing for ghosting, but not bad. Not even going to try to whip everything where I want it to be. This is very open. Very open, very hard to get everything where I want it to be, so... so you simply do the standard whip everything, I mean blow up walls get stuff out of them so we can ghost them without putting any extra effort in it uh, I saw it, it was hidden but I saw it don't destroy me, uh, snowed over boulder I think I could have gotten both that sapphire, I mean th both that emerald and the ruby if I had positioned that better did not even think about it. Do, 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 do. Just casual murder. He was minding his own business. Don't give a damn. No living beings shall be tolerated. Hey, there's another. Oh, there's a couple more. Nice. All right, let's put this there. In a decent spot. Kind of annoying to find a good one for this pot to be blown up. Not there. Maybe there? Yeah. That's good. I mean, it's kind of infuriating to get out of there before I blow up. Should happen though. Shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> what, you thought it would peacefully drop all the way to the bottom of the abyss? I have to do some murder. Got blammo. There's nothing in that pot. So disappointing, absolutely disappointing! 
been uh, my, because I've been working so long, so many hours. It's work that's in my head these days. Me and my wife constantly joke about, or rather, it's like jokes mixed with gripes and spite for everybody that we encounter. How people have these postal-related jokes. That boy, are, are they uh, are they knee slappers? They are, uh, especially the twenty thousand the twenty thousand time that you hear a joke. That's when it's at its funniest. Is they're not even jokes; they're just comments that you constantly, constantly hear as a male person. And you know, you don't. I don't really blame people for being gregarious and trying to crack a joke. But it's like, how do you not understand? that I hear this on a daily basis. I've heard this comment at least a thousand times. No exaggeration. It feels like Christmas. Bitch, it is Christmas. I just brought you a whole bunch of Christmas presents. At the very least, the, the smallest favor you could possibly do to me is not to say, it feels like Christmas during Christmas. It's okay to say in the rest of the year when you order a whole bunch of rope to hang yourself and you say, it feels like Christmas when I bring it to your door. But the smallest courtesy you could give me at this time of the year is to not say that. Not say that because it is Christmas. So you, you saying that is like, it just makes you want to say, it is Christmas, you dumb bitch. <laughs> so please stop. With the, it feels like Christmas thing, at the very least during the, the, month, the month of December. Alright? Alright? Have, have I made myself clear? So far? Keep all the bills, I'll just, I'll, I'll just want the checks. I'm going to give you all the mail, you dumb piece of garbage, because I am legally obligated to do so. Do you think I give a crap about the mail that you get? I don't give a damn, I see your name, I put it in your mailbox. Uh, you could be getting penis enlarged ads for all I care, I don't give a damn. It's all just paper that I put into the, your trash box that you call a mailbox. And I just move on with my life. You are just a number, you're just another address for me to stop at and then completely forget. Do you think you're an individual that I care about? No. So stop telling me, oh, is that just bills? <laughs> oh, do you have my my million dollar check in there? <laughs> Bitch, I have never delivered a million dollar check, and if I had, I would not care. I don't give a damn. Stop, stop it, stop. It's time to stop. With the absolutely nonsense, uh, <laughs> cliched comments to the male person that brings you stuff. There's no joke you can say I have not heard a hundred times, a thousand times, ten thousand times. So how about you take your garbage, your literal garbage, and you shut your trap? Hmm? How about that? Is that it? No, bitch. I left the, all the rest in the in the <laughs> in the post office because I didn't feel like delivering much today. So how about you go to the post office to retrieve it? Oh yeah, of course this is it. This is what I bring you every day. Why? Are you making a big deal about not getting much when you often just get the, just get an ad for for breast enlargement and a magazine about uh, Sandra Bullock being miserable again because uh, her husband cheated on her for the thousandth time? What the hell? It's your problem, lady. Stop telling me. Is that all you got? Yeah, it's all I got. It's always all I got. I you have told me this like a freaking twenty times, and then just in this month. It's like the thing that you always tell me. What's your... That one bothers my wife so much. <laughs> Is that it? What do you expect? Do you expect me to bring you a horse? Do you expect me to bring you the... The freedom from your meaningless, pathetic life? We're all stuck. We're all stuck in our own world of, of petty meaningless, meaninglessness. How dare you suggest... That I could bring you an answer to your sad, insignificant existence. What else do I got? What else do I got that gets my my gets my gonads all flare up? You got my oh oh boy, oh boy, some rando, some rando walking up to you in the middle of you doing your job, and they go. 
You got my mail? <laughs> who are you, bitch? <laughs> I don't know who you are. I know where you live. Do you think I know your face? Do you know how many faces I see every day? I see freaking 500 faces every goddamn day. Actually, I don't, but... Did you catch my drift? I see so many faces every day. I deliver to literally 500 houses every damn day. I don't know who you are. Most of the time, it's just people, uh, quote, 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 joking about, <laughs> I'm going to say this memo has my mail, even though I don't even know his name. I don't even know. Uh, he's not even my mailman, but I'm going to say that. Some other times, though, it's, it is somebody trying to get the mail early. It's like, wait for your goddamn turn, you scumbag. Just wait for your turn. Everybody's waiting for your turn. I ain't got no time to be digging into my, my tree of garbage that is already all, all lined up in delivery order. I want to dig through my, my trash. Okay, those pots will go all the way to the bottom, so I need to find another spot to, to blow them up. I want to dig through my trash for five freaking minutes to get all the trash that you're getting because you need your freaking welfare check check because your alley money is late and uh, your 20 20 checks of child support are trying to catch up to you so how about you go back to your house you wait next to your mailbox and wait for me to bring your damn your damn check because guess what even though you might get your check now you might get your check now but your life's still going to suck so how about you get off my face let me do my job! What up? Zero gems, what's going on? <laughs> These pots. I am only... I'm feigning about... 77% of my outrage right now. There is a kernel of... Uh, that is, there is a kernel of that. Of... Uh, people. But mostly I am... I am uh, not nearly as outraged in real life about this stuff. I just, you know, just shrug, put up with it. But... Is there one that actually does bother me? Let me think about it for a little while. Uh, right now, I'm trying to to fill dead air with all my words, so I am not really thinking. Maybe if I think about it, I can come up with one that actually bothers me. I guess that's pretty pretty egregious. The one that they just find you and they want to get their mail and it's a pain in the ass because it's just buried at the back of the trays and at the bottom of of my pile of garbage. So. I do have to to hurt myself trying to retrieve it. Not really. It's not, you know, it's not a big deal. So that I always just do it. So, but but in the back of my mind, I was like, ugh, I don't want to do it, but I guess I'll do it. I guess since I'm getting paid the, a whole bunch of money to do the job, I guess I'll do it. You're lucky you catch me in a good mood, scumbag. The end of the month is actually pretty egregious about that because you get like in Alaska, uh, there's a lot of um, a lot of Alaska natives that get their check from the Native Association. Doyon is called it up here, so they get a check at the end of each month. And this is not this is not a racist comment. This is not an exaggeration. This is something I have been told to my face. It was a joke. So, with all that prefacing, I have given this check to a native guy, and he's like, it's all gonna go into booze tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not saying that's what they all spend it on. I'm saying I was told, and he, he did look the part. Okay, so, <laughs> I thought it was funny, and he was joking, but I don't doubt that it's indeed going to booze exactly on that very night. There's a shotgun. I'm going to use it to murder my, my enemies. Uh, we seem to be done. So I think we're going to kill ourselves pretty damn soon. I don't think I want to use my bombs to get this ruby, though. It's so sad. You had to preface edgy... Uh, it, it could have been a good edgy joke. But because I'm a pussy and I'm afraid of the outrage mod, I, I need to preface it with all this nonsense. But this is a true story. I'm not being racist. So, thank you, thank you, Tumblr, thank you, Twitter, for for making me uh, concerned about people being super outraged about that that 15,000 subscriber channel with a thousand views. That's the thing that really gets me too. It's like you get outraged and and super into fighting 
super tiny outlets that really make not that much of an impact and they make it their whole lives um, on fighting this tiny channel. While meanwhile, you got PewDiePie uploading yet another uh, video panning uh, the follies of of extremist social justice. So it's like, man, you're missing the front lines like a little bit. <laughs> I'm not saying that PewDiePie is the end all be all of social commentary and that his influence influence trumps anything else. Uh, what I am saying is that maybe you're a bit misguided to care so much about such tiny, tiny portion of the voices that you're against. Anyway, I don't really want to get too much into that. I've been, I feel like I've been getting too much into that in the commentary lately. I want this stuff. And I'm willing to maybe... Yeah, yeah, give me those two. I mean, there's no way I can get that sapphire through conventional means. So we're just going to get that done. Another mine right here. Let's get this man out of there. I think a frontal assault is the best option. Frontal assault. That way he'll just get the hell out of my face without me having to stomp on him with something silly like that. Alrighty. I mean, we can... Nah. Not... not. So it's, it's just super hard to whip everything where it needs to go. Hey, there's a pot over there. Did not even realize it. And also, we need to start harvesting blood. We forgot that we committed suicide. Man, there's a lot of mines. Not much to spend them on, though. To use them on. Let's get the pots all together. Maybe this time around they'll contain one gem? That would be wonderful. That would be absolutely wonderful. It will be magical. Give me that money. Give me that money. I think I go. I, I doubled two of those. Could be wrong about that. Okay, if I blow up that pot... That seems like a good spot, actually. Will give me that ruby and not throw all my pots into the trash there you are man since they legalized marijuana since they legalized pot in alaska you smell it so much more <laughs> i've never like i don't really have anything intrinsically about against getting high but boy do i hate the smell i can't stand the smell of pot so i get to smell that so often Often on co-workers in the morning. It's like, man, cut it back with the wake and bake, will ya? A little too much, buddy. <laughs> Can you maybe go all day and then have a time of relaxation at the end of it? Do you really need to get high at the start of your day? I know that dealing with the post-office drama it's, it's draining sometimes. Like, come on. You don't need to come in reeking off it every damn day. Have some damn shame. Not really something you should be all that ashamed about, it, unless you overdo it. All I'm saying is, you know, restraint. Restraint is important. I want the bomb box, so... I'm going to do that. I want it, I deserve it. I worked real hard. Daddy needs some new shoes. What the hell is that? I don't know. That's what people say when playing craps, right? I'm just trying to fit in with a gambling crowd because that's what exploding is about. It's about gambling with your life. And all this money. Serve it. Not a whole lot of money so far. Hasn't been a bad seed, just not a very good one either. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else to blow up. Might as well get a little bit of money out of there. Not like it makes like the seed is so uh so average that getting the tiny bits of money doesn't matter because it was not going to be uh, you know it's not going to be the difference between 1.9999 and 2 million so it's all that I'm saying that's all that I'm saying you know what let's go into the mothership okay I wanted to go through there but I I got an acute case of the retards oh there's a emerald right there that I can Explode my way into. I was totally blind to it until just now. Pretty strange. Oh, it just. Oh, yeah. Pretty strange. <laughs> In the back of my mind, it's like, hey, what happened to Luna? She was pretty insistent and then she stopped. 
I look down and she's right there. Remember when I was talking about her? She's been all this time, all this time, she's been sitting there looking up at me. It's like, like at some point, at some point, he's going to look down and he's going to pick me up and it's going to be the greatest thing in the world. Just you wait, just you wait. I'm just going to sit here, just going to sit here and she's going, he's going to finally look down and say, realize, hey, my cat deserves some attention and, and then, ooh, then all the attention I'm going to get, all the lap time I'm going to get, oh, it's going to be so good. Oh, it's going to be good. That's all that's been go running through her mind all this time. Yep, she's still there. She's still there. Oh, yeah, I wanted to grab my... Ah, too late now. Okay, Luna. Okay. You've been so patient. So patient and so quiet. Aw. This is a good kitty. This is a good kitty. This is a good kitty. Mm -hmm. Now, lay down be quiet. Don't, don't nudge my arms. Don't interfere in this very, very serious business of Spelunky ghosting, all right? This is very serious business. And I am ready to get some more work done. Jackie, let me just grab you by the hair and propel you. Oh, well, I didn't really want to do that, but I'm okay with it having happened. She has exploded. And that's unfortunate, right? It's unfortunate circumstance. But I'm okay with it. I embrace it as collateral damage worthy of doing business in Splunky. And we're going to continue molesting her corpse like a deranged necrophiliac. Oh, that was amazing. Uh, amazing defense against the corpse, but this corpse, it can take some punishment. Wait for that to explode. I want to get some more blood, please. <laughs> this corpse is getting utterly dismembered. Quite heartbreaking for Jackie, but you know, I don't even know what her name is. Pretty sure I called her Jackie, but there was another Jackie earlier. This world full of Jackies. They're all different. Like, never really been asked this question, but it's a question that should have been asked. So I'm going to ask it to myself. Why do you give the damsels the damsel a different name all the time? I don't get that. It's the same and it's not the same damsel, it's just different people. I've been rescuing people, I've been molesting more corpses, I've been throwing them into Kali's embrace. They are all gone. So it's all different fools that fall into my hands. Very happy that the shopkeeper has committed suicide. There was a hole. I was hoping there would be a hole down there. For the shopkeeper, the shopkeeper to fall through, and indeed there was. I get rid of all this nonsense. I was hoping for things to explode, but I'm okay for it not happening. Uh, too bad I didn't get the shotgun, so now we have to deal with this thing the the hard way. What a amazing defense, by the way. You guys see how beautifully defended, beautifully defended. The alien queen is? Actually, it's just one alien lord. But it was two. Okay, let me uh, get that done and then get out of there. So then in, a, in another pass, we can grab that plasma cannon and do some green tinted violence. Careful. Careful. All right. Everything is fine. Almost shot there, but probably would have been a bad idea. Because I would have jumped straight into the ghost's arms. I think that murdered the filthy alien. Indeed, it did. Destroy the. Oh boy. Queen. Oh yeah. Getting rid of all the dangers. Alien queen. Don't force field the. Force the field the. Concentrate a little bit because fraught with danger. I am always wary about the force fields. That's why I don't shoot when I could have. I didn't know the the period of the force fields. I didn't want to just shoot and then have it reflected, and then I managed to catch it with my teeth because that's what I always do. Like it never fails. If a beam 
gets reflected. I will catch it with my teeth. Always happens. Always happens. Ghost it, might as well do it. Pick it up, no problem. More force fields being destroyed. Wouldn't it be glorious? Wouldn't it be fantastic to have a hard hand spawn right now? Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking with my noggin. Could we maybe eliminate all the noise here and whip our... Yeah, we can do that. This should be like the easiest, right? This should be the easiest. To eliminate all the noise in this level and then whip all the diamonds to where we want it to be. There goes the parachute. Because, you know, with the plasma cannon, creating room is so much easier to get things done. Pretty sure this corpse also counts. Down it goes into the abyss. Very convenient disposal shoot. Where's parachute? On? Oh yeah, like where does parachute come from? It's from the aliens that you kill. It's unfortunate because it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get rid of them, but not too bad. Probably shouldn't be so damn careless about where these where these gems go. Probably also need to destroy the moving platforms. Seems like a source of noise to me. Kill the parachutes. Fortunately, that diamond is there, so we might have to lose it. Man, these parachutes all over the place. Alright, let's create that giant. Probably that one is going to have simply picked up. Still fall somewhere I don't want it. Let's give it a little bit more time. Of course, we have to murder all these people. Ah, oh, I didn't want that. That's silly. That one was also in position to be duplicated, though, so, as well. So that's bad. Damn it! I keep almost picking them up. Wonder if the bouncy platforms are counted as noise. I don't think they are. Probably not, right? Could be. So might as well destroy them. Play it safe a little bit. Already you can see. You can see how terribly time consuming this is. Right there. Pretty sure they're not because they're part of the scenery. They're just another tile. Right? But probably they're not noise. If I have the power to get it done. <laughs> Luna, this is very uncomfortable for me. <laughs> She's laying nearly all her weight on my arm. This is uh, not very good. Not very good for my for my ghosting efforts, Luna. Ow, that hurts! Stop scratching it! No, don't don't play with the scissors. You're pissing me off, cat. How you do this? Why am I trying to blow up the corpses? That's stupid. <laughs> Just grab them. Wow, this guy is still alive. Grab him and toss him. Okay. Okay. Up it goes. That's one. Probably should just toss the rest. Should make it to the bottom, hopefully. Destroy that um, platform as well. Didn't want to destroy there. There you are. Destroy that one. This there. All right. We also have to ghost this at some point. Let's do it now. All right. So let's make a little bit of a plan. Where can I put these gems to pick them all all up at once? They'll fall. Probably fall on that where the ghost is at right now. And if I keep whipping it, keep whipping them, they will fall probably up here. I don't think I can join them with... Yeah, we can whip them right where the corpses are at. We can put most of those where the corpses are at. And this should be pretty okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh boy. Well done. <laughs> I should just be able to jump over. Alright. Slightly concerned for a moment there. 
Alrighty, that's the abyss. Everything has been tossed. You see, this is this is pretty boring. This is pretty boring to be readying a level four duplication. So that's why you're not going to see it. This is just kind of like proof of concept. Hey, look at what it can be done. Look at what crazy world record people do. I didn't want that. I thought for sure it would only be the two the two tiles. So that I've already lost money trying to duplicate money. So, you know, another reason why maybe I shouldn't do it is because I'm bad at it. So, <laughs> uh, you know, not going to be very good for my profit making. Anyway, we need to destroy that right there. All right. Now, well, that was not exactly what I intended. I ran out of ran out of fuel, thankfully. I was not completely incompetent. And did it while the ghost was below me. That would have been bad. Alright, everything's there. It's there. So you want to blow up this right here. So I have a little bit more room to whip. And I think there is what seven, eight diamonds in there? Is there eight diamonds in here? Oh, that's not what I wanted. So good. Though. Oh, come on, really? I can't whip that? That's stupid. For some reason, sometimes you get stuck in a bouncy platform and you can't really whip it. Some items you can't, and some items you can is bizarre. I've seen that problem before. I wonder what it's based on. So I'm pretty sure I whipped uh, gems off a bouncy platform, so I guess I'll just grab it. Okay, so I think there's maybe like five or six in there. Very unlikely we're going to duplicate that. Uh, we might! Of course we want to grab the plasma cannon. Let's see if we can find it. Right here. Luna, do you know that you smell? Your breath smells, Luna. Your breath smells. So look at me. I want to smell your face. To brush your teeth. Never really brush my cat's teeth. It strikes me as an extremely weird thing to do. Okay, that was two, right? Apparently, because uh, the noise was pretty high. So I think I grouped maybe four. 600... 640,000. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. That was not eight diamonds in there. We just got that duplicated. Pretty sure that was a duplication because we had lost so many diamonds. There's no way there was as many as eight. So I think we just duplicated a pile. Haha, <laughs> amazing. Awesome. It took a long time to get it done though. So I don't know if I want to keep doing that. We have now discovered that it's, it's a thing you can do. On the other hand, I just picked up 12 freaking bombs. Which means that maybe the City of Gold could be extremely profitable. So you never know. We should be letting go of this plasma cannon. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, bad things happening to me if I get too close. Getting here. Give me some more ropes. But you know, we left the we left the the mothership with less than 700,000. That is below average. That's not very much below average. So, you know, while it was exciting to get a duplication done, this seat is still pretty bad. Still pretty bad for money. Mm. Grab that. All that cash. We could probably group up a bunch more, but I ain't, I ain't gonna do that. It's uh, madness. Well, I, it seems that I just blew up of a shopkeeper. Feels good. To randomly explode. One of those gross... Misanthropes. That's the word that I was looking for the other day. I was uh, constantly pointed out to me in the comments. I knew the word, it just wasn't coming to my mind. I... I had heard and, and used the word before. It just completely slipped my mind at that time. So thanks for the reminder. 
All right, there's plenty of ghosting opportunities here for the savvy Splunky player. And I'm one of those. So we're going to hang around until the ghost is around. We'll take advantage to its wonderful, beautiful face. Diamond making face. I guess we'll amuse ourselves by throwing things into the abyss. There's no real reason to do it. I'm not going to try to duplicate nothing. I just, I just like to destroy things, okay? Like to see them crumble. I mean, even if I tried, I don't think I could push all the pickups into one spot. Maybe we can whip that. Uh, well, we can maybe group up quite a few here. Right in this spot over here. Should I try though? So much work. So much work. For now, we're just going to ghost everything. <laughs> Still wondering though, is the snow that spawns in, the, in front of the level? Does it count as noise? I don't think it does. It's just some. Um, it's just like the bling in the background and stuff. Because you don't interact with it, right? But I don't know. I have no facts for you. Get that ghosted. Some sort of sapphire here. Very all spread out, so you gotta do a lot of busy work to get it ghosted. So worth it for the score! Definitely not going to get whipped to where I want it to be. Yeah, there's no way I could. I mean, why not? Why not? I mean, there's a few. So maybe we could whip them. I was hoping to grab the money on the flight. On flight. On the fly. Or in flight. It didn't work out that way. Something out here. We can actually whip that. Maybe. Maybe. Goes there. We can maybe whip it that way. I don't want it to drop into the abyss though. I don't think it will. But we can maybe position everything right where the diamond is at. I don't know where the diamond went. There it is. <laughs> maybe. I think I'm just gonna lose money that this way, so let's not do it. I was trying to be all weird and clever, but just grab them. Just grab all the stuff. Oh, there we go to that one. Was there? Yeah, there's another one right there. Alrighty. Very disappointing ice caves, very disappointing. So far, it's not even close to the million. It's very bad. And I would suggest, I would posit to you that even even the greats out there would have been hard-pressed to get a decent amount of chunk of money out of this seed. They're not even feeling that bad about wasted opportunities. It did, really didn't seem all that... All that opportunity rife. This uh, da particular daily challenge. But hey, we're entering the temple. It's something I haven't done in the daily challenge for quite some time. Very successful. <laughs> ah, poor bastard. He deserved it, though. Filthy member of a cult is what he was. And trusted. He was certainly crushed. He was uh, far too painless, in fact. Continue destroying things. I'm, I'm hearing the shopkeeper music being all over the place. I'm going to assume that is because the exit shopkeeper is now dead. And it's, in fact, a vault being real pissed. Hoping for the ticket trap to kill Anubis, but it seems I'm going to have to get my hands dirty. In the face! Right to his noggin. You rat faced bastard. I would like to get those crates. And I don't want those crates to be crushed. Off it goes. This is what we got. Now, this is a level where I should not be picking up anything. In fact, we're not... Yeah, this is 
we got this. We got ah, there's a lot of leaves here. It's already ruined it, didn't I? These leaves. Uh, actually, with a crush trap, we can get rid of them. I think we can get that done. These leaves are an insane amount of noise. But I think the crush trap will destroy them. I'm not sure about that. So let's find out, right? I mean, I said, I said, I'll be at least trying to do, and here I am picking things up, the Moran. Okay, I think that's triggered. Let's find out if the Crush Trap destroys leaves. If it doesn't, where we're kind of SOL. The thing is, it's also going to destroy that. It's also going to destroy all my gold. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it does. That's good to know. We can maybe position things in the future where it doesn't actually crush my money. That's triggered. Yeah, there's that vault man. That. Extra blood, please. Sacrifice ja uh, Jacqueline. Not the same as Jackie. This one's Jacqueline. Growing money that I shouldn't. I should be endeavoring to take nothing, to, to grab absolutely nothing and group it all up at the bottom of the level and then get it duplicated. But as you can see, I am awful at it. Because <laughs> I just, you know, it's kind of ingrained in my brain to pick up the little bits of gold and everything as I go. Should be endeavoring to destroy the entirety of the level. Not touching a damn thing. Because I everything can be duplicated. Thing is, of course, if it's a tiny ingot, you need to line it up, line it up very, very carefully in order to duplicate it. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do it. Hmm. So maybe I should be exploring the bottom of the level because we also need to line up a crush block to line things up. And of course, to destroy all the debris in the level. I think crush traps we could do without. Because we can simply push a crush block to destroy the leaves. But it, it becomes a little difficult to get that done. Because uh, they're not as versatile as a crush trap. That being said, also pretty annoying to manipulate the crush trap. I want to get the ropes and that stuff without without uh, picking up the the money. It's gonna happen though. Anyway, Maybe we can even get this man sacrificed. That'll be hilarious. And now we're probably just going to use that scepter. So the aim here is destroying the entire of the level, then using the cross trap. All right, death. Let's put this somewhere safe that I'm not going to destroy, such as this block right there. Okay, the the level is good to go. We're probably going to end up using that crush block. For so for now, we're going to destroy absolutely everything. Everything. Including the crush trap? Question mark. Should in fact explore a little bit. Hmm. Crush trap just makes me so nervous. But we do need to get rid of leaves. It takes a lot of, like this is the reason why this glitch is being allowed why did i grab that it's <laughs> so ingrained in my mind to just grab the things uh this is why the glitch is being allowed as a perfectly valid way of of increasing the high score because it takes so much work and so much skill and so much care to get it done it's not like oh i pressed the button duplicated my money no it takes so much work to get this done so much work I destroyed the crush trap. 
but they're still crushed blocks. Unfortunately, this leaves are a bit of a challenge. Let's just grab that, and then we'll just push it to the egg, to the to the side, right? Grab that crush block. Put the other side now, and start pushing from that side. Kablamo! Why not sacrifice this fool? There we go. No configuration yet, but getting there. Oh, 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 whoa! <laughs> uh, I'm liable to destroy my vault. Okay, might as well also get the debris. Destroy my vault by getting crushed. That will be heartbreaking. It will be crushing all in itself. Also, we want to get the... Oh, I wanted to get that sacrifice. Get the... Um... The chest over there, we gotta get so much stuff to that corner. So for now, we just gotta make sure to make room. Make room to blow up the other side. I am going to a place of no return. So let's quickly blow up this place. Picking up gold in the meanwhile. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Probably will end up grabbing that diamond too. Definitely not a perfect, <laughs> not a perfect dupe. Very, very far from it. But hey, it'll probably happen. Well, that's not what I meant to do, but it's okay. Please enough, Cali. It's kind of due. Having several crush, crush blocks. Also something that probably not a bad idea. Okay, so we have freed that area. Again, did not mean to pick that up, but I'm okay with it. Oh man, I think that actually hit the the vault gems. All right, all right. One, two, let's do that. Good stuff. Oh, there's a. Oh, shotgun in there, so that's going to be noise that I can't really eliminate because it's all mixed in with the diamonds. So, you know, learning things as I go now, it's like, before you destroy everything, you really need to take stock of all the noise in the level and make sure to destroy it before, before you start liberating all the gems and ghosts in them because you're going to end up with items all mixed in with the things that you want to destroy. There. And that's not something you want. Like, I can't really go in there. We're going to be picking up a few of those diamonds right there. To be able to, to start pushing on that block. No. Okay. We're going to be destroying all that stuff. Uh, what I'm doing right now is making sure to grab all the junk. Putting them on one side of the block. So this we have to grab. See, everything is getting put right there. Let's we'll get this with the rest. Ooh. Okay. And we didn't do need one corpse. Will be really useful to blow up the the block ones were done. So that shotkeeper corpse will stay there. Let me go get the plasma cannon. Here. And then after that we'll sacrifice it to Cali. And now we're going to destroy this triggered. I think there will be no more noise. Right? Am I right in that assessment? If we destroy all this stuff there's no noise here. That arrow trap is triggered. It's all good here. I don't see any noise generating thing on that side. A little bit of money. The scepter, some more money. 
Looking good. Looking good. Okay. And here's another crush block that we can use to line up all the gems, hopefully. So let's start pushing. Let's start pushing. <laughs> With that ghost all the way to the top. And like I said, this is the la this is the only time I'm going to do this. <laughs> it takes so long. We are in hour and a half territory. This is probably going to be a two-parter, one of those rare two-parters of the daily challenge. Or maybe I'll probably just post it, and it's a two-hour-long video, so I'll just let it linger in the channel for a couple of days. Let's destroy all that junk. I think there's something also behind those diamonds that's going to be counted as noise, noise which is unfortunate. Oh boy. Uh, I wonder if there's a shotgun somewhere that we can use for also inserting more entities. I mean, of course, a shotgun that is not that one right there. Alternatively, we can just pick up that shotgun and just deal with it before we destroy this. Oh, we won the corpse. Won the corpse. Let's grab it. For somewhere we won't forget it. Maybe pick up the shotgun. Wonder what's behind that. Can you guys see it? Oh, it's a chest. Can I maybe grab it? Maybe I can grab it. This will get started shooting. <laughs> it's going to take a many, many shots, and uh, it needs to happen so that the shots render behind the plasma cannon. Yeah? Forget. I forget that part. Because we want the plasma cannon to have. Precedence. I think that I forget how that works, but it's, it's related to such things. Um, yeah, I want it. Ah, it sucks. Um, probably it's not worth it. The diamonds that I just picked up compared to the elimination of the noise. Wonder what's the relation there. Like, is it worth it to eliminate a little bit of noise to? To pick up a bunch of diamonds like that. I think there's a shotgun right behind those monies right there. And I already have a shotgun, so we have to destroy it. Right there. And since we are in the middle of destroying all the stuff, we will start just shooting this. I wonder how many times you gotta do it. Like they're all rendered in front of it. And it might already have happened. Let's use a rope so I don't have this headache of constantly. Constantly going back and forth. Nope. Wonder if it also. Well, does it have to be in front of the plasma gun? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. And what you're doing here is introducing more entities into the stack of items that are rendered by Splunky and eventually the bullets will go behind the plasma can if I remember correctly I could be misremembering that the bullets will go behind the plasma cannon and then you'll know that the plasma cannon is on top of the stack Is very very layman terms what I'm saying, but it's that's the gist of it. Another rope here. Give myself a massive headache just doing this. Hmm. I know we might already be there, and they're rendering in front of the plasma kind of like they're supposed to. One way or another, we're going to count this as a victory. <laughs> and we're going to start destroying everything, okay? That's what's going to start happening now. Let's push this here. Give me my corpse. Pretty sure this is all the noise in the level. Stupid piece of garbage. Constantly pissing me off. Stupid ghost with this stupid face. Should be destroying everything in the meantime. 
one thing at a time because I cannot handle anymore. Kaboom! Oh yeah, oh, even more. Oh, that leaf! What the hell, it didn't get destroyed. That's a load of BS. What the hell, those leaves did not get destroyed. That is upsetting. Maybe there's a crush block in this corner. Nope. That kind of uh, throws a spanner in my works. All those leaves are going to be annoying. Probably just ruined everything, pretty much. Anyway, I'm still committed to all this, so... There was another crush block at the bottom, so we're just going to destroy everything. Kidding. Even the ingots that don't fall straight into my face. At least I get an A for effort, please. Give me an A for effort. I deserve it. Try so damn hard. All that stuff is fine. We're going to destroy the entirety of this place. And then we're going to push it all the bottom. We want that cross block, so I will destroy that last. Oops. Oops. Almost killed myself too. Definitely want that. Start shooting at the very bottom of this pile. Might as well start moving that way. Just to make some room for myself. I am so mad about these leaves. I don't think there's absolutely anything I can do about it now. If I had a crush block, I could maybe push them. I could maybe push that crush block. Not a crush block, but a, a crush trap. Maybe push that crush trap to destroy what I want to destroy. Sweet, sweet extra bombs. Get them. Oh boy, I'm so happy that I did not go straight to my face. That would have been so freaking humiliating. <laughs> that would have been so bad. Alright. Oh, you think I'm done? I'm not done. I'm not even close to done. There's so many. So many blocks to destroy. So much dead air to fill. How the hell did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> that was very, very high power bounce. And at the end of all this, we'll see just how much money am I doing this for. And it's going to be pretty dumb. Probably. Probably shouldn't also not destroy that crush block. Because I might mess up. So don't destroy the crush block that is in the middle here. I might want it. All those blocks. Get all that junk. It belongs. At the bottom of the pile. Trap. Alright. And what the reason why we want to keep this corpse is it's a great tool to destroy the crush block without moving the the money. Okay, so Let's start grouping things up at the bottom, start whipping things out of their places. Get it all to the bottom of the level. Trying to find a spot for this plasma again. Oh, there you are. Okay. So we'll go we're going to have stuff to the both sides. We're going to have stuff to both sides of the of the crush block, so we'll probably have to do it in two goes. And so I am happy that I left another crush block at the top. Ah, that chest! Where did this chest come from? Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, I can't destroy it anyway, so it's just going to have to remain. 
I'm being more noise. I might have so much noise right now that it's completely worthless what I'm doing, but I'm committed to it, so... We spent 20 minutes in this level. Might as well keep going. Get it done. Very unhappy about that. I don't have no idea where that chase came from. I don't know where it was. Okay, let's see if we can put as much as we can. And in fact, we should be able to put everything to one side of the block. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, just pull it up. There's no need to pick up anything. Oh, there was a gem in there. What? What? You what, by? Are. Oi! Oi! You got a license for that meme! Gotta get some licenses pretty soon. Get that horrendous new rules go, go into place. Alright. This goes away from me. Destroy that. And we want to leave Callis out of there so we can sacrifice the corpse once we're done. It's safe to shoot that way. Put everything in that corner. I'm so sad about this. These leaves that are completely impervious to all damage. Silly, silly thing. Whoa! He wanted, he wanted to be with me. He knows where he belongs. Okay, so I want to not destroy the crush block. Whip it all to that side, and this stuff is not ghosted, so kind of important to pass it over it. So much work, totally worth it. All right, totally worth it. Just you wait. Is that only one gem? I hope so, because I think I need to pick it up. Otherwise, I can't line up everything. Maybe I can, though. All right. Whip, whip, whip. It's all piled up right there. It's too much work, so we're just going to grab that. Upset that I have to do it, but I have to do it. And we want to do. Let's put a bomb. Right. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I think that'll do it. I really hope so. It didn't. Uh, <laughs> I might have messed up, but we do have another crush block right up here. That should hold it to the bottom if I do that. There you go. Crisis averted. Let's push this over there. I think I can still destroy that if I put the bomb exactly at the corner. But... I'm glad that we had a we had a spare we had a a backup plan because I know my own incompetence. Okay, so what this does, as you can see, lines that up perfectly in the same pixel. See? Now what we're going to do? We put this corpse. We put it. I think this will work, but we can adjust that if it doesn't work. Uh, we'll put it there so that way. The explosion destroys the block without moving the gems. You do it? it was too far. I think that would be good. I want to go too far because otherwise my gems will move them. That will be counterproductive. Aha, that did it. Perfect. Perfect stuff. Now we grab the corpse. Put it right there. Our ropes! Ropes are noise, aren't they? Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot that ropes are noise. Yeah, we have a lot of noise in this level. Maybe prohibitively too much. Uh, but, you know, proof of concept. There you go. This is what you do. Only better. That's what you do. And then you just go pick it up and hopefully it gets duplicated. There's nothing I can do about the, the plasma cannon. Actually, yeah, I can maybe crush it with... Just crush it with this. Maybe. But the robes are noise, and there's a lot of robes all over the place, so this is not gonna work out nicely. 
is the thought that counts, okay? I put in a lot of effort in there, we might still get some duplication. Probably not even worth the bomb and spending. There you go. Alright. 819. I don't know if there was duplication in there, but it feels like there was, because that was, I think, well over 200,000. So, if I had done everything correctly, we probably would have gotten like 300,000 out of that, which would have been fantastic. So, that's how it works. Isn't that fantastic? Are, are you happy that we went through almost 30 minutes <laughs> of, of busy work? Wow, almost got murdered there, right there. Almost got murdered. I don't think this bomb will destroy both. Uh, let's get rid of this nonsense, actually. I don't need to get rid of that one. He said five minutes before his death, when he comes back and gets killed by that crush trap. I hate this. Uh, actually, I wanted to go that way. I really wanted to go the other way. This is a very upsetting... A very upsetting situation with the cross traps. Alright. Let's see if we can get something down here. I want to go and murder the shopkeeper, of course. With the scepter, but I might not even do that. I might just go into the city of gold. This level is garbage. And I hate it. Look at this. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> uh, to destroy a bunch of cross traps. Just to pass. Just to get through all this nonsense. Okay. A cross trap? No, it's just a... Uh... Man, I've been damaged a lot. Did way too many points of damage here. Gotta harvest some blood. Please don't telefrag me, brother. You're gonna telefrag me, aren't you? <laughs> I can see. I can just see you. Telefrag my ales. Being very careful here. I really. I'm very wary of all the bad things that can happen to me. Somehow managed to trap that guy. And the shopkeeper's already dead, so... Oh, is he dead? Is he? Yes. Look at the positioning of this cross trap. That is just freaking genius, man. Spelunky. Spelunky. You could have destroyed me here. It destroyed me so easily if I had not seen that crush trap because you see the crush trap. Damn it. Go away, croc man. You're so annoying. The crush trap. That's a very evil thing. These croc men are, are going to be my death. Uh, it's positioned to to disturb the idol, and then the idol will trap me where I was. I just want the idol, though. We're not even going to ghost here. Like, there's nothing to ghost. All right, guys, good good stuff. Oh boy, oh boy. There is that sapphire to ghost. I guess we can get that. Whoopla. Alright. Ah, this is dumb. That's a lot of work. So I'm kind of at a loss of words these right now. I've worked too damn hard. That blood, I need it. I really do need it. I've been taking way too many points of damage. Give me that. And I don't think there's anything to be done that side. There is the shopkeeper. We're not going to do anything with him. And then molest his butthole a little bit. The butthole. Alright, let's go all the way back up get that scepter. Careful with the crush traps I might have left behind. I don't see any. There's one. Alright. There is a shotgun. I probably should go get it. 
Is shotgun worth the bump? Probably it is. Probably it is, right? Don't forget about the crush trap, though. It's so easy to get murdered in that murder hole. You know what? You know what? The, cr the shotgun is not worth the bump. I already spent it, but I'm retroactively deciding not to spend that bump, and Splunky will refund me. It's just too hard to get in there. Not gonna do it. Just continue on to the city of gold, in which we are going to become filthy rich. Hopefully. Here you want for the the mummies. Walk down here, yeah, nice. The mummies you want to kill them without using the shotgun. I forget what it, uh, how you do it. You need to kill them in a in a specific way that doesn't use that doesn't create the bandages because the bandages produce an insane amount amount of noise. Oh yeah, Let's crack crack your skull open. But of course we're not going to be worrying about that because there's no way we can do anything here. Almost got murdered by the way. I mean there's lava, you can throw all the noise in the lava, but it's just too much work to be grouping up all this money. So we're not even going to do it. Just take my word for it, that it's a pain in the ass. Oh, let's see if we can get the shopkeeper. Okay, that's triggered. Oops. Oopsie. I would like to get a shotgun, please. Car straps. Carry on. Let's see if we can stuff a shopkeeper's mouth. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> We got that problem solved pretty easily. Should be good. Yeah, I hate to spend bombs to destroy the crush threats, but put another alternative, which is getting murdered by them. Now we have the shotgun. We can come in here and grab that book of the dead. Don't worry too much about this. They're annoying. Is that triggered? I think it is. I'm already spending ropes to uh, creating so much noise, so it's just simple. To even, even entertain the idea of duplicating anything here. Anyway, let's get to work. It's it's been it's been very lazy, very slow. We gotta open everything up. I don't know why I'm endeavoring to rescue this foolish John man. I don't give a damn about this asshole. What we do care about, though, is maybe getting some vomit into my face. Goodness, this place is just so rife with danger. Bomb there, maybe we can. Oh, no, it just, it just blew up. Oopsie. Oopsie doopsie. I made an oopsie. <laughs> PewDiePie used to be an obnoxious uh, five year old bait, right? But he's old persona. But ever since he decided, you know what? I'm going to just be genuine. He's a legit, pretty damn awesome uh, channel to subscribe to. He's not longer, you know. Something kind of to be ashamed of. <laughs> it's like legit good commentary. I really like him quite a bit. He has, like, he has had or wheels earned his place. Saying, "Not nice somebody that I actually enjoy listening to." Still a little obnoxious sometimes, but overall, subscribe to PewDiePie. Do your part. You gotta beat those filthy Indians, right? Isn't that what it's all about? To beat the Indians? It's all racially motiva motivated? It's nothing to do with the culture of YouTube and the stakes of a corporation versus the independent creator? No, it's all about being racist. Because that's all these people can see. Hey, wow. One of those. One of those little buglets. That guy saw my face and he was just so pissed. Like, Bacos Blanco! 
I hate his mustache. He doesn't shave correctly. You have to be. Everybody's a critic. Everybody. To criticize my beautiful facial hair. I'm super beardy right now. I have the, one of the mightiest beards I've had in quite some time. I don't feel, feel bad. It's cold out there. The beard really helps. I feel bad about it. Like, how do women deal with the cold in the face? How, why do boys shave their faces in the winter? It's like, you have a free of charge belt for your face. How are you not growing it? To protect yourself from the elements. I mean, obviously, if you live in freaking California, it really is not that big a deal. But if you live in a cold place, freaking Wisconsin, the Midwest, or anywhere where the winters are long and harsh, like my cock, I don't understand why you wouldn't, you know, it doesn't have to be unwashed and unkempt like mine, but a healthy beard will save your face some pain. I don't know how. Oh, well, that was stupid. There was a ruby in there that I never ghosted. I managed to kill every single um, mummy as well. I am some kind of moron. Continue creating more gold opportunities. We still have 14. 14. 13 bombs. This is not a good spot, but I'm doing it anyway. He's decent. Yeah. Slim pickings now. He's alright. Most of these are really not that great, but I'm okay. Everything's fine. Okay, six bombs. Kind of cutting close, I don't like it. Rubby. But, you know. It's alright. I'm sure Olmec will have bombs on his head. Don't you worry about a thing. Alrighty, we're almost done. Do I one more pass to grab all this gold? Nice. There was a decent amount of bombs in the sea, so... Oh, there was a bunch of... Well, shucks! Nothing I can do about it now. Ah, do we... we can just count an Olmec having bombs? Right? We can do that. Nothing bad. I should have actually bombed the other one. Should have bombed the other one. In fact, I'm just going to. I'm a fearless mofo. I'm going to count an Olmec having bombs in his lair. He's rich. He can afford bombs. Where did they go? There it is. He's rich. Ah! That was not triggered. What the? <laughs> I thought we were completely done triggering every single arrow trap. Goodness, I harvested some blood here and there. Hmm. Okay, I think we're done here. Get the rest. That one, that one, and that one. Oh, yeah. One, three, seven, one. Not great. There was a shotgun somewhere. I know I saw it. Did I move it to the exit? I might have. There it is. Okay, ready to go. Eight minutes in the city of gold. That was, I would say, an undupable with the tools that we have right now. Of course, you could easily prove me wrong by being better than me, but there's going to be some bombs at the top of this Olmec head. Don't you worry about it. Cannot believe this is a two-hour daily challenge. This puts a, a pretty fat hump hamper on all the recording I want to do today, but I'm okay. I embrace it. Like, I was going in already with the intention. Let's let's get some some sweet, sweet, sweet duplications done today. Well, there are bombs here, but not of the kind that I want. Am I truly going to be left completely bereft of explosives? I mean, at least one bomb box. No, of course not. Olmec has decided to troll me. As of course, we all knew he would. We all knew that he would. Alright, like it was a foregone conclusion that he will be a total scumbag and make me have to do this the hard way. What, you think I'm daunted? You think I'm not going to get it done? It is uh, a possibility I won't, but I'm going to try. I want to 
crush right here. It's not a good, yeah, it's a decent gap. It's an excellent gap, actually. Let me get out of here now. Please, this is stupid. Okay, he's actually stuck there, so I have created a bit of a problem for myself. It's all good, it's all good, don't worry about it. That's well take the opportunity to harvest some blood. Not like it matters because I'm going to be insta crushed, right? Uh, let's use a bomb here to create a ladder for Olma to get out of there. We get a little bit of extra money too. All right, Olmec. How about your GTFO, huh? Right. That. Now, there's a scene. Three bombs should be plenty. We're going to be stuck with zero, right? That's not good enough. I don't want to be stuck with zero. But the alternative is just dying. Crushed under the mind of Olmec's fat ass. And I only like that in the dungeon where I get erotically asphyxiated. So let's pass on getting stuffed by Olmec's fat ass. Oh yeah, that was extremely close too. I <laughs> almost got crushed as well. Next to the wall. All right, here we are with no bombs, but plenty of zest for life. And that's all that I really care about. That's all that I need. Okay, thank you, uh, Trap, for making my life slightly easier. Let's throw all these comebacks. Whoa, almost get murdered there or or hit. Let's see if we can make our way into Vlad's lair through the natural means. Without any kind of help. Why am I not grabbing the ingots? There's no reason not to grab the ingots. I mean, the thing is... Very, very unlikely we're going to ghost here. I'm going to leave the gems not picked up for the time being. Wow, almost jumped a little too high there. That would have been humiliating. Alrighty. Get those people ticket trapped. Alrighty. Oh wow, you scumbag. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Why? Why you do this? No, that's not what I want. Oh, maybe, hopefully this. Yeah, this vampire. No! Okay, that's what I want. Get out of there. Get out of there! <laughs> that's annoying. Now I'm hoping that the crate contains bombs with which I can get this amulet. Luna just losing her mind. She's just tossing and turning like she's having a bad dream. But she's not. She's just just trying to be an annoyance is what she is. She's still on my lap. She's just become a lump. <laughs> she likes to lay there for hours on end. She used to jump off kind of quickly. But these days... She'll milk it. She'll make it for us, as long as she will, as she can. Loves to have some lap time. Just like I do at the strip mall. Where they pay me big bucks. Pay me big bucks to sit on Bob and Jack's wanton face. Alright, so I guess we are ghosting a little bit. We have the opportunity. We have the technology. nothing better to do in my life today I'm not going to use the bombs because I only have two and this flunky algorithm of generating levels can totally screw me over so we're just going to take it easy with the bomb usage I'm pretty sure this will not touch me all right well I hope that this ball and chain does not time perfectly with the ghost could have easily done it well but in a clever way don't idiotically get wrecked by getting trapped by the ghost it'd be super dumb I don't even know why I'm trying so hard it's like 1.428 there is about a 0% chance of this even being in my top 10 but you know we've made it into a theme today of getting as much money as possible 
Might as well carry it all the way to the bottom of the of this of this bottom of the black pit of despair. Might as well continue on. Embracing. Embracing the greed. Alright. There's some money there, but not really something I can grab. Good to go. Oh, wow. I really need to stretch. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I've been sitting here two whole hours with a cat on, on my lap for one half of that. I really can feel. I really feel the strain on my back. My back's been so good. Like, I get a little bit of a twinge. Now and then, if you're a long time uh, viewer, you'll know that I have a pretty bad back. Oh, Mad Hawk? What? You what, mate? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, I guess we're not done with this place, huh? Are you a succubus? You're not. A <laughs> Kali Altar, too, huh? Are you trying to murder me, Sh uh, Spelunky? This is what's going on right now, isn't it? Spelunky's trying to murder me through temptation. That's what's going on right now. Lunky is putting all of this temptation in front of me. And I'm going to fall for it. And I'm going to get so murdered <laughs> by my greed. Oh, I'm going to get super murdered. Let's get rid of this filthy succubus. Disgusting gold digger. Let's create a shortcut here. Oh my goodness, that annoying, that sound is so awful. No way. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's not any of the things that I intended. <laughs> I guess I'll embrace it. All right, get more of this stuff done. Might as well create a shortcut here. Oh boy, I was like, oh, I'm point of health. But no, I'm immune to fire. Utterly immune to fire. Would you like to turn around, please? So that I may murder you. Get roasted! Well, that was stupid. Yep, can't do it without grabbing. That was so dumb. That's one of the dumbest things I've done in my life! Um, I'm gonna have a. Matok now, so this bomb should be warranted, right? Thing is, I'm probably going to uh, deplete this Matok. There's lots of gems all over the place. All over the place. I eat over my own words when I get excited. There's the goes, might as well get that ruby already. Alright, I'm a ward cannibal. Speaking over my own words because I want to get out this message as soon as possible. You're too damn excited. Ah, <sighs> feeling pretty good right now. Feeling pretty good about this run, even if it's not a good one in the large scheme of things where score is concerned. It's a damn good one. Where effort put in is concerned. I just took a point of damage like a moron, and then I got murdered. I mean, not murdered, but hit. Another bit of foolishness there. Thing is, uh, getting to those emeralds is going to be a massive pain in the ass, huh? Shopkeeper dead. How do I get to those? Kind of difficult. We can get it done, though. Uh, maybe a rope onto the spikes. You have time. <laughs> I wasn't 100% sure that I had time to descend upon the spikes in a slow like manner. This should work. Yeah, they should get both. Yeah, nice. Alright, let's see where, how we can get these. How do we get these? Uh, maybe get the ghost up here and then go under the ball and chain. I think that's doable. Oh, but I can't grab it without... Yeah, I'll have to make another shortcut with the... The Matok. Like so. 
Give me those emeralds, they're mine. They belong to me. Yeah. How far? How far we've come? I always, uh, every time that I, I'm doing foolish things like these, I have the memory of first coming into hell and being like, there's no way I'm ever going in this place, this is impossible, blah blah blah. Little did I know. Four years later! <laughs> and what is it? Almost a thousand hours by now. It's, I think it's like 800 to 900 hours. I will be doing such silly, silly things. In my life. I think a swing of this is worth it because they're worth double. So each swing is like 1400 or something like that. It's time to go in there. Okay, that was uh, ill advised. They're through though. I hope I didn't leave any money behind. Oh, they didn't blow up the, oh, the Kali Altar. We could have had, if there's another Kali Altar here, I missed on the chance of ghosting uh, Yama. Of course, I also missed on the chance of humiliating myself by committing suicide, so maybe it's a good thing. Those gems over there, not worth it. That might as well. Not exactly what I intended, but it's all good. There we go. I don't think I can grab that now. I don't think I can. Is it worth going in there? It's three gems for three swings, so why not? Alrighty. A lot of gems here, so we are ghosting. <laughs> it makes me a little sad. I'm ready, I'm ready to get done. Go eat something, I'm hyper hungry. Hyper hungry. Oh, this dude, the guy's still alive, but he's going to get murdered now by the ball and chain that was graciously passing over his noggin. Okay. What's down there? Nothing I really want to risk my life for. How is he not dead? I have no idea how he's avoiding this ball and chain damage. How? How, sir? There you go. You did. Ooh, and there's an idol there. We can even cheat a little bit for this idol. Look at that. We can cheat a little bit, we don't need to cheat too much. Let's get rid of this, this sticky trap and we should have pretty easy access to it. Feels like I should crouch. That's what I was doing. There you go. It's 25,000. It's no joke. Ooh, almost. No bombs, so very happy to destroy anything that might bar my passage. I'm going to go in there. I think we do want to come down here, though. We can do this and then grab the, <laughs> grab the emerald like a moron. Freaking yank she is. Making me nervous. Right. I don't know why I try so hard to get that emerald when it's super hard to go to, to actually get in there. Well, let's just simply forget about it, I think. I mean, the Mad Talk is going to be completely worthless soon. Ah, bombs. There's no real way for me to do this, is there? Yeah, there's no way. So I just wasted everything. I just wasted my life doing that. They're even caming here, huh? Well, this is some good ghosting. Let's get it down. And with three swings, we can get that. So that'll probably be our next objective. Are you still around? Are you still around after two hours, 12 minutes? Do take advantage of that watch later functionality of YouTube, man, because I don't expect nobody to sit there for two hours without actually be playing video games on the side or something. You know? Uh, I know for a fact. I'm not going to sit for two hours to watch something without having something else to to do, such as drawing, etc, etc. Well, this is annoying. The second sapphire over there is going to be a bit of a pain if I want to do something like such. Alright. So, so these... Woo! <laughs> Did I just crouch over that? Is that a thing that just happened? Or it doesn't really matter. Okay, this is a bad idea because I have this. I have 
every possibility to kill myself here, so let me just get out of there. <laughs> that was extremely, extremely dangerous going in there. I didn't realize he was so ripe with danger. There's a whole bunch of stuff down here, so I want to get them ghosted as well. These balls and chains are just too much. I can't handle it. Let's just make it out of this place while I have the time. Honestly, I am done with this mat off. I'm done with it. Right, let's go back for our money. Get the hell out of here. Not even going to bother with that emerald. All right. You know what? We made it work. I mean, it's not going to be a massive amount of money still. Oh, didn't even realize there was an emerald down there. Still not going to be a crazy amount of money. Like, it's not going to be, I don't think, even in the top 10 of my, my top 10 of all time. But, damn good effort. We got, I'm pretty sure, I'm 97.72 percent sure that we got some duplications there obviously not optimal because there was still a lot of noise in the level but uh oh. a couple more Woohoo! It's, all good. it's all good don't worry about it <laughs> that's funny <laughs> they're playing ping pong this sad little piece of trash Whee! Love me some. Love me some delicious rubies. And burn them. So. You know what? I just now realized. This is probably an. I already used ropes. I made the chains. I don't think the chains count. This is a. I would say probably a good place for duplication too. If you don't use the the robes that I just used, I think we're done. Now you give me the bombs, just come back. All right, we're done with this place. That was a hell of a long ass <laughs> run. Two hours, fifteen minutes. Don't expect a video tomorrow. Do split it in half. Well, I mean you're at the end of it now, so I'm telling you too late. Um, I probably will put in the description if I remember, which I should. But uh, you know what? It's split your viewing in half. This took two hours of my recording day, so I'm not gonna have to time to do as much as I usually would. But at the very least, it was an entertaining and educational episode of the Daily Challenge of Spelunky. We're probably going to end up at 1.9. Something close to that. Very, very close to 1.9, right? Because we were at 1.7. Did we get 1.8? No. Yeah, so 1.8 something. Alright. Feels good. It's alright. Maybe hopefully at the very top of the of the ladder today. We better, right? We worked really hard today. At the very least, I hope that we got to... Yeah, I get this. I get this. We got to number one. Hell yeah. Sweet deal. Pretty, pretty far up from everybody else. But, high scores, daily old time, my average, wonder how, where I'm at right now, probably way down at 40, Damn. not even my number 10, so, oh, freaking steam overlay, alright, so there you go, that's all I got, that's all I got for you, go home, people!